How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. We know that with the DCV some exotic quests will be going away. The exotics will still be attainable by other means, but these older quests will not be around anymore. And today I've got a guide on how to get the Ace of Spades exotic hand cannon. The quest for this will be going away with Beyond Light, and I think it's worth doing for the last mission alone. Before I get into the quest guide, if you find this video helpful or enjoy it in any way, then make sure to like and subscribe. I've had a good time making Destiny 2 videos and I want to know what kind of content you want to see. Leave any suggestions in the comments down below. Alright, so in order to get the Ace of Spades quest, you must complete the Forsaken campaign and complete the Nothing Left to Say mission. Once done, you'll have to head to Banshee44 in the tower so he can help you repair the Ace of Spades. He'll give you the next step in the quest which requires you to defeat enemies and invaders with hand cannons and gambit. Invaders will count for more, but they will be quite a bit harder to kill with hand cannons so honestly just try to kill as many enemies as possible with your hand cannon. Just put your favorite one on and hop into gambit. Not everyone's favorite mode, but it must be done. After that's done, you'll be on the next step which requires you to kill 250 enemies within strikes. You can either hop into the strike playlist and try to compete with your teammates, or you can head into one of the three old Nightfalls and hit up a Lost Sector. When I did this, the Hollywood Lair was a choice for Nightfall and I went into that and repeated a Lost Sector to complete this step. Once that is done, it's time to hit up some PvP where you'll be required to get 25 precision kills with hand cannons on opposing guardians. Put on your favorite PvP hand cannon and hop into the Crucible. I recommend the Dire Promise or a Thorn if you've got it. If you don't, I have a guide on how to get it. When this is done, you'll need to locate four of Cade's stashes throughout the system. Let's start with Io. Head to the Lost Oasis landing zone, then follow the path shown on screen towards the Wraith Mines. Now we'll head to Nessus, use the Exodus Black Landing Zone and follow the path shown on screen. Next up is the Tangled Shore, load into Thieves Landing and again follow the path shown. Finally, we need to hit up the EDZ, drop into the Winding Cove, and again follow the path shown on screen.
Now that that's done, we can do the Ace in the Hole mission, which really is a great mission that has Cade leaving messages to those who could have potentially killed him. Like I said, this mission alone is worth doing the quest. It's pretty straightforward, you'll need to collect 10 more stashes throughout the mission as well as slay some hive. When you're near a stash, you will see Cade's stash nearby on the left side of your screen. Look around until you find it, and for each chest there will be some dialogue from Cade 6. Be careful here, as it's easy to skip them accidentally, as they will be up high and you'll have to do some jumping to reach some of them. Once this mission is complete, you'll head back to Banshee 44 to receive your Ace of Spades. Anyway, that's it for the quest guide. Again, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. I just want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.